30 seconds. One minute. One minute, 30 seconds. <clears throat> Everyone has dreams as they grow up, children to adolescents to adults. We always have dreams, goals. Sometimes those dreams don't work out. Things happen. Sometimes we make mistakes that extinguish those dreams. Sometimes other people might do things that throw a wrench in our goals. But what does that really mean? Does that mean these dreams can't be accomplished still? Absolutely not. In order to accomplish these dreams when feats and when other things are against you, it's the desire in your heart that can accomplish them. Our quotation today is from Bob Seger. He says, dreams die hard and we watch them erode, but we cannot be denied the fire inside. I interpret this today to mean that desire cannot be measured. Your heart cannot be limited. And that's the only thing that cannot be extinguished, cannot be destroyed or taken out, is our desire. We'll profile this further through three points. Our first point will be a leader named Nelson Mandela. Next, we'll profile another leader by the name of Malcolm X. And finally, a, a popular American author who we all know by the name of J.K. Rowling. Let's start with Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was imprisoned in Africa for 25 years for a crime he didn't commit. And it would have been very, very easy for Nelson Mandela to build up resentment and to build up anger and hurt for those who had him in prison. But instead of building resentment, and letting the pain consume him, he decided to use this to build his spirituality and make other goals and make other dreams. The result of this was Nelson Mandela being released after 25 years of incarceration for something he didn't even do. And let me remind you, this is in an African prison. This isn't in the American prison or the federal prisons in, in, in the United States, which the people in other countries would probably consider Club Med or probably consider the Hilton in some cases. We're, we're discussing a very dangerous, dehumanizing environment that Nelson Mandela was in. But he was still able to keep his mind because of the desire he had in his heart. If we, were, if we relate this back to our quotation, as Bob Seger tells us, our interpretation, that desire can't be measured. It can't be extinguished. We can see that Nelson Mandela's desire to do great things for this world couldn't be destroyed no matter what anyone else did. You see, the next thing we will do is move on to our second point of Malcolm X. Now Malcolm X is known for being a very militant leader, known for using violence to get what he wanted. After Malcolm X took his pilgrimage to Mecca being a Muslim, he realized that the American ideals, that the, the ideals he had been following from the American Muslims weren't consistent with the ideals that the Muslims in Islam were in agreement with. Once he found and saw that the, 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 the views that the Muslims in that country had, and the country in, in Mecca had, once he decided and saw those, then he changed his views. He decided that violence isn't the answer, and all people that are connected under God are the same, that are equal. 
So we can see that even though Malcolm X was, was hammered down by beliefs in America of his religion, when he was able to open his mind, open his heart, the true desire and the true will that he had was able to come out. And he was able to actually become a legend and become very inspirational to many people after he took this new vow, after he took this new view, after his pilgrimage to Mecca. And we, if we relate this to our quotation as well, we can see that his desire wasn't extinguished because of outside forces. Now finally, we'll move to our third and final of J.K. Rowling. Now J.K. Rowling is a popular author, the author of the Harry Potter series. She was denied 15 times before she finally was accepted. And most of us can't take 15 times worth of, reject, worth of rejection. You ask a woman out for a date 15 times and she rejects you. You probably don't want to go back again or she'll probably get slapped or something of that nature. Maybe some files charge, charges filed on you. But either way, here we can see J.K. Rowling has a desire to continue her dream, continue her goal, even though everything around her was against it. Turn to our quotation. Our quotation is from Bob Seger, who says, Dreams die hard and we watch them erode, but we cannot be denied the fire inside. We interpret this to tell us that dreams, that desire can't be measured. What's in your heart cannot be extinguished as long as you continue it. And if we look back at the dreams we had as children, even though they may not have come, have come through, we can still build new ones, and they can never be extinguished. 